Dragon SpaceX, all hooks open and nominal. All hooks open. Dragon departing. Dragon SpaceX, separation confirmed. Separation. Three burns, physical separation, 4.35 p.m. Pacific. Thrusters looking good, counting down to a nominal departure burn zero coming up shortly. Dragon SpaceX, depart burn zero complete. Copy complete, our advisor's up. to head up and over the station before additional maneuvers will change its orbital path to take it below and in front of the station. Dragon will autonomously accomplish that through three additional departure burns with that next one coming up in just a couple of minutes to get Bob Hurley, Bob Venkin and Doug Hurley well away from the space station and on their way home. Beautiful view, uh, just had a beautiful view there of the relative navigation center, sensors uh, providing an infrared view of the International Space Station as Bob and Doug drift away from it. And uh, of course, as they are drifting away, going into that slightly higher orbit, uh, just because of balancing the force of gravity along with their centripetal acceleration, they will move a little bit slower than the space station. We're going to come in just about five minutes after separation. And uh, this is going to increase that opening rate between the space station and Dragon. And separation occurred on time today, as with everything else occurring on schedule, sending Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley back toward Earth, back toward home. That uh, fuzzy little dot is uh, a view from the International Space Station looking at Dragon, um, currently on its way away from the International Space Station. Some cool views from the cameras on board the International Space Station. And uh, one other note there, um, GMT is also sometimes referred to as UTC, or Universal Coordinated Time. They both mean the same thing, just slightly different nomenclature. And you may hear some of those calls uh, over the nets and from the core. Right about now, the capsule is going about 400 miles per hour, decelerating quickly. And standing by for drogue deploys. Visual, two drogues out. There on your screen, we have visual confirmation of those two drogue deployments. Happy do drogue. All right, so two of two, the drogues now out. They're going to do their slowing and stabilizing of the Dragon spacecraft. They should be detaching in just a few moments, and then we'll see four parachutes, the main parachutes deployed. Dragon under drogues. Drogue descent rate nominal. The expected descent rate, the expected velocity under the drogues nominal. We're right at around 150 miles an hour and already dropping. You can see the drogues now detach. And there we have confirmation of deployment of the four main parachutes. We are visual on four chutes out. We are visual. Four main parachutes deployed. Four main.
So at this point, the main parachutes have deployed. They are inflating, as you can see there on your screen, continuing to slow Dragon down significantly. We are anticipating splashdown in just under two minutes and 30 seconds. We've already slowed the vehicle down to about 16 miles an hour. It's already less than a kilometer in altitude. Main chute descent rate nominal, passing through 700 meters. So at this point, Dragon has saved all propulsion systems on 600 board. 600 meters. 600 meters. And we're 600 meters above the Gulf of Mexico. Should be approximately a minute 30 from splashdown. Mission Control Team here in Hawthorne has reported the precise landing coordinates to the recovery team. They are standing by ready to go get our space dads. We just passed about 300 meters, one minute till splashdown. Two hundred meters. We are brace for splashdown. Copy brace for splashdown. So there we heard Bob and Doug reporting that they are bracing for a splashdown. We should be able to see uh, the Gulf of Mexico here in the shot just momentarily, as we're now just about twenty meters off the ocean. Splashdown. As you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation for Splashdown. SpaceX copies and concurs. We see Splashdown and mains cut. Dragon Endeavor has returned home. NASA astronauts and Bob Endeavor, and Doug. On behalf of the SpaceX and NASA teams, welcome back to planet Earth and thanks for flying SpaceX. <laughs> It's truly our honor and privilege to fly the flight of the uh, Crew Dragon and Endeavor. Congratulations, everybody at SpaceX. Uh, all good, and we're uh, into section of four decimal eight zero zero. Thanks for those words, Doug, and we uh, copy that you are into uh, four decimal eight zero zero. So great news all around there. Our space dads are back on Earth after a 19-hour return journey from space. Dragon Endeavor has splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico, just off the coast of Pensacola, Florida. And on your screen there, you can see our two fast boats, and they are indeed fast, <laughs> racing out to greet Dragon Endeavor as uh, it sits there. The first on there, we can see a view inside the capsule. Bob and Doug looking good. Although the communication was a little choppy, we did Space hear. X, uh, Endeavor in three decimal one, we show ourselves in stable one. Loud and clear, solo, how us? Loud and clear as well, and from the video, it looks like the boat is about one uh, length away, about five to ten meters, backing up to you. Copy that. Uh, thanks for the update. All right, or to fall overboard. That guy intentionally jumped. <laughs> Speaking of falling overboard. <laughs> We're ready. Thank you. All right, so the crew was just told in about 30, in the next 30 seconds, they have the lines affixed, so they're going to start lifting the capsule up out of the water. And at this point, the communication we're getting with Dragon is actually being routed through the boat itself at this point. So there we can see the lift. 
Dragon is out of the water. Yeah, so now they're now. That a frame's going to start swinging it back. And it's bound right for that nest at the bottom of your screen. So there we're getting a better shot of all the points in which Dragon is tethered to the hydraulic lift, ensuring that it isn't swinging freely. there we can see Dragon Endeavor being carefully set down into the recovery nest on top of Go Navigator. Dragon uh, SpaceX, welcome aboard the recovery vessel. Recovery personnel are completing final checks and preparing to translate you to the egress platform. We happy, thank you. And there we see Dragon moving forward. Look at that. Smooth as a Tesla, I would say. <laughs> it's really interesting to see those scorching marks uh, now that we get a really nice up close detail shot of Dragon. Standing by for the go for side hatch open. That rounded square there in the center of the capsule is that side hatch. And on either side are those oval windows. Dragon SpaceX, stand by for side hatch opening and egress. Happy, we're ready. All right, crew got the call. We are go for hatch open. Such endeavor. Uh, you should take a moment to just cherish this day, especially given all the things that have happened this year. Uh, we certainly can't thank you enough. Our families can't thank you enough. And, uh, just proud to be uh, a small part of this whole effort to get uh, a company, people to and from the space station. Day to celebrate with each other. See you soon. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, hopefully in person. Thanks so much, Doug, and you're welcome, and, and thank you so much for those kind words. And we all wish you a safe journey home and a happy reunion with your family soon, and we look forward to seeing you in person as well. Some really nice words there from Bob Benkin. Mikey. There on your screen we saw uh, NASA astronaut Doug Hurley egressing or exiting from the capsule. Might have been hard to see on your screen there, but um, we got a thumbs up indicating that uh, things are going well. There we go, another thumbs up. And we've got some applause here. And as you can see in Mission Control, a standing <laughs> ovation for a job well done all around.